This tutorial will show you how to use the Find an Address widget to zoom to a street address. Begin by refreshing your browser, maximizing your browser window, and closing all open widgets to start with a clean page. You learned how to do this in the previous tutorial, named Panning and Zooming. Hover your mouse over the first widget on the title bar. This is your Find an Address widget. Click once to open it. Type in the example address. 1616 West Adams Street Phoenix 85007. The case does not matter. Press the locate button. See how the map zooms to this address, with a red target marking the location. Click on the zoom to button on the info window, that appears next to the red target. This zooms the map even closer. Click and hold on the black dot on the zoom slider. You are viewing the map at a scale of 1 is to 1128. This is as close as the street base map will allow you to zoom in. Click on the aerial base map button on the upper right. Move the base map slider to see how you can fade between the aerial view and the streets view. Click on the streets button to go back to the streets base map. Click on the previous extend button to zoom out. Click on the previous extend button once again. The map will zoom out to Arizona. This is where you started. Click on the record with the yellow highlight. The map will zoom you back to your target. Click the full extent button to view the extents of Arizona. Notice the black underscore. You are viewing the results page. Hover your mouse over the first tab on the header. Click to open the address page. Delete the house number. Press locate. The results page is empty. No features are found. You are required to enter a house number. Open the address page. Re-enter the house number but leave out the zip code. Press locate. The map finds the address and zooms to the location. Open the address page once again. Delete the city name. Enter the five digit zip code. Press locate. This works too. You have learned that in order to locate a street address, you must enter a house number and a street name, followed by a city name and or the five digit zip code. Try a different address. Open the address page. Press the clear button. Enter 1000 East Frontier Street, 85541. Press locate. The map zooms to the correct address in Payson, Arizona. Press and hold on the black dot on the zoom slider. The map always zooms to a scale of 1 is to 9028. There is a reason. Both your base maps are available all throughout Arizona at this scale. Click on the zoom to button on the info window. The map will zoom in closer to display the base map at a scale of 1 is to 1128. Switch to the aerial base map. You will see a gray background. The map data is not yet available at this scale. Ease back a couple of notches on the zoom slider. You can now see the aerial base map. Switch back to the streets base map. You can also locate a point by entering the latitude longitude values. Hover your mouse over the coordinates tab. Click once to open the coordinates page. This is where you can enter the longitude and latitude values in decimal degrees. Try the example values and press locate. The map will zoom to the Arizona State Capitol building. Click on the zoom to button on the info window. Switch to the aerial base map. You are viewing the aerial base map at the highest resolution. Switch back to the streets base map. Open the coordinates page. Notice that the longitude value has a negative sign. This indicates you are entering a west longitude to the west of the prime meridian. What will happen if you forget the negative sign? Delete the negative sign on the longitude value and press locate. The application will read this entry as an east longitude value. Zoom out several notches. You are on the other side of the world in China.
open the coordinates page and press clear. Enter, 0 for your longitude. Enter, 0 for your latitude. Press locate. Ease back on the zoom slider. You are at the intersection point of the equator and the prime meridian. All longitude values to the west of the prime meridian are indicated by a negative sign. All latitude values to the north of the equator are indicated by a positive sign. Click on the full extent button to zoom back to Arizona. Zoom out a notch on the zoom slider. Close the overview window by clicking on this arrow. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to identify all the broadband providers at any location within Arizona.